Hi, this is Mark Wiltshire. Thanks for joining me on another episode of the Explore Finland radio show. This week I also wanted to say thanks to all those that have recently reached out to me through the Explore Finland podcast website. Joshua, Raphael, Lawrence, Elizabeth, to name to name a few of the more recent ones. Thank you very much for taking the time to read what I'm writing, hopefully listening to the, the podcast itself, uh, and for taking the time to uh, to sort of give me a few comments. It, it's good to know that people are enjoying what I'm putting putting out there and seeing the the list of uh, of people that are following me in in various places is uh, is gratifying. So thank you everyone for that. This week's episode was recorded in the middle of February 2015. Uh, I have a, a conversation, first of all, with Christina Valesma, who's the organiser of the uh, ice race that took place in Yorba, in Etelapochjama, that's South Ostrobotnia, not far from where I'm based in Senioki. And uh, we spoke a couple of days before the race took place, and then I went out there to, uh, to sample what was on offer. Um, so, without wasting too much more time, let's just head over to the uh, the conversation with Christina and then also to the time I spent at the race. Thanks for joining me today. No problem. And no problem. I, I was intrigued to hear about this event of yours. Maybe you can tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, well, uh, this is actually the first time we're organising this event. So, this is a kind of a unique event and a uh, f- first try for this. And, um, well, the basic idea is that uh, 15 legend cars are driving on an ice track. It's almost an oval-shaped ice track. And they have a uh, lot of heat and then a, fi- a final, and afterwards they present the awards. And this uh, event takes place uh, next Saturday between... Uh, 12 and uh, 4 p.m. So this is Saturday the 20... 21st, 21st. of September. Yeah. yeah. Um, it, sounds, it sounds exciting and terrifying. Um, <laughs> I, I've heard of Ice Speedway before, but I didn't know... I've not heard of this Legends Racing. Is this the first time that it's well, been done? It's, it's not been the done, first or? time. They, they've organised one in Vasa some years ago. This is definitely the first time in here... Uh, on an asphalt track like this. Okay. So they've uh, they've built this um, ice track. They've they've th- thrown water and snow and you know built it for like one month. Wow. Okay. So it, it'll definitely be good for the race. This is at the Botnia Ring, isn't it, in Yerva, yes. which is sort of yes. sixty it, kilometers uh, west of Senioki, where where I am now. Yeah. Yes. Yes, it is. And that track isn't an oval. It has it has more to it than just an oval in in total, doesn't it? Yeah, it's over four kilometers long, and it's the longest one in uh, northern countries. The longest uh, raceway. Okay, and and how much of that track are you using on Saturday? Uh, it's uh, a little over one kilometer. Okay, so, so it's quite one, one... a small section of the track. Yeah, okay, but it's an it's an oval, so everyone will be able to see a good a good. Yes, uh, yes. The, audience, the, race. the audience will be able to see the whole race as they go. So, okay, I'm getting I'm getting excited already. Yeah, it'll be, and, and the heats are quite uh, quick. You know, they do three rounds on the track, and one round takes less than a minute. Okay. So it's uh, the pace is really fast. The whole time, so it, I don't think the audience will be bored. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't. I don't think they will. Uh, yeah. I, I'm imagining a surface something like a, a hockey rink. I've seen the way that the hockey rinks are sort of looked after, even the outdoor ones, as as winter goes along. Is it is it that slippery? Well, yeah, it, it, it is ice. It is very hard ice. Yeah, yeah. That okay. They drive on. It's plain ice. So there's no, there's not, not. It's not exactly an oval. Like a hockey ring, it has some uh, corners in it. No, I understand. It, it I've been to. Track and it is good for the audience because they can see the whole race all the time and see all the actions on the track, which is quite quite unusual for a motor um, race. 
No, that's true. I've been to uh, Valtiaud here in Seniorki, and of course, you see yeah. the cars race past just a, a small fraction of the of the race. So that will be yeah, that'll be good to follow the whole the thing. Case. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I I've found you online. Somebody suggested how I might contact you, and I found you online, yeah. and I found your website, which is the APR Villa website. Yeah, Villa Aber. Uh, excuse yeah, me, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. What's the what's the, the connection between yourselves and this um, this accommodation and the racetrack? Well, uh, Villa Aber is a rental villa which is built uh, last year, two thousand and fourteen. This is built uh, next to Botnia Ring racing track, so you can actually from the balcony of the villa you can see almost the whole track. Okay. So this is kind of a unique place, and uh, this is a, a wooden villa around 160 square meters, accommodation space, and sauna for up to 10 to 15 people. I saw it so online, it's, and it's a it's a nice looking building, and I I didn't realize actually that it was so new. So you've you've yeah. been involved in this in the opening of this this place last year and now you're creating this event right next door to it yes yes and that's where the name comes from yeah okay and we've actually just started to market this place and actually open it up to to any renters i saw that so, so what's the just just so that anyone that's listening if they're interested what's the yeah. uh, website address that they can right. find that that place uh, www. okay I'll, I'll put a link on my website in the show notes so yeah, if anyone you can also find us on facebook by the name Villa Bear. okay and is what do you, do you have a connection to the botnia ring track or is it just the fact that you're you're nearby that's made the the two things go together well, actually, the person who built this uh, Villa Aber mm-hmm. place, uh, he's called Johan Ahogas, and he's um, he's a racing driver, and he actually owns uh, owns a part of Botniaring Racing Track or the company as well, and he's involved in that as well. So we're all, you know, there are three places here at the Botniaring Racing Track, and then BRT Testirata OU, which is this testing track. Yes, okay. Where the, where the ice race is actually held in. Right, they're, okay. They're okay. part of uh, Botniari. And then there are us. And we're all trying to, you know, work together to to offer all kinds of services to people. Yeah. I, I noticed on your website you, there was, there was um, the accommodation, but also food that you can provide as well. Yes, yes, we can provide all kinds of food. Just plain food or even some some very gourmet style type of food you know that's what i saw on your website that got me uh, that that made me sit up and take notice yes yes <laughs> we are planning on doing cooperation with a paintball company okay so we're actually offering paintball on on next to villa aber on the forest here okay okay so that's also a service we provide and we can we can offer packages like when you go racing on the track for the day and then come to, come here to be la there and you know have it go to sauna and relax and eat something and stuff like that yeah so, it sounds it sounds interesting trying to find as many different ways as possible to get people to come and have a, a day out there and and yeah use the facilities yeah. maybe stay over as as well yeah and, and also for companies, you know, larger groups, this is a great place to have a meeting or just spend some quality time together. Yeah, and I think where the where the track is located, it in the countryside. So once you get there, having somewhere having somewhere nice to stay is a, is a good thing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And there's there's no one around here. There are no neighbors nearby. Nearby, so you can just. You can totally relax. <laughs> you, can, you mean you can make as much noise as you want to and yeah, nobody exactly, will complain. Exactly, and go roll roll naked on the ice if you want. 
yeah and i think when once you get in the sauna and you have a a couple of glasses of schnapps then there's probably quite a few people who, who find themselves rolling around in the snow and that's possible yes <laughs> exactly what else takes place at the botnia ring during the year well uh there are lots of uh, different racing events there there is for example the finnish nationals of uh, track racing okay there there are here in uh, may so that's one big event but there are other smaller racing racing related events we're actually planning on on doing something new all the time we're doing this now and then maybe sometime maybe even next winter we're going to do a snowmobile event yeah, okay snowmobile race possibly yeah I've, I've become aware since since i've been here in finland that um if it's got wheels and an engine then finnish men will probably try and race it <laughs> that's true <laughs> and finnish men are actually pretty good at it yeah no, this is yeah we're, that that's we're racing uh, anything with a motor right? that's so, undoubtedly true it's in the blood yeah, that's sure. yeah. So let's let's go back to Saturday's event. Yeah. We've got this uh, these legends cars um, racing around this this oval track, and that that's taking place during the day from from twelve until four pm. And of course, people are going to be listening to this after the event, so you know they can't they're not going to make it this year based on what they're hearing yeah. now. But if it's if it's something that you're planning for future and other events as well, then they'd do well to visit the uh, Villa Arpeta. Uh, website and check out check out what's going on in future but for my benefit coming coming there on on saturday um yeah. and i think there might be three generations of us because i'm i'm dragging uh, my son ollie along but also we're, we're bringing vari uh, my my father-in-law along with us as well so oh, okay, we're, that's cool. yeah we're, we're looking we're looking forward to it uh, what else is going on during the day as uh, alongside the racing Well, actually, actually, pretty much is going on okay. alongside the legends uh, racing because we wanted to make this an event where everyone, everyone can enjoy themselves, and everyone has something to see. And there is um, this uh, snowmobile company called Loco. Okay. And they have a testing track for snowmobiles. Okay. So you can actually go on a snowmobile if you want to and test it for yourself. And I've, also, I've never been on one actually, so that will be. I'm I'm kind of excited about the idea of doing it, and also terrified that I might end up going <laughs> off into the woods and never and never make my way back. Uh, no, it's not that hard. Okay. It's not that hard. <laughs> the track is quite quite easy and not that long. Okay. All right. Maybe I'll maybe I'll give that a try then. Yeah, and there is also you can. Um, I don't know how old your son is, but there is also a track, snowmobile track for children as well. Uh, he's eleven. Uh, okay, well, he's for the children's track. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, you that... have to have a driving license. Yeah. Okay. Well, then he. Yeah, I'm. Uh, he, I'm definitely not old enough to have children that are uh, have their driving license yet. Yeah, but he can. He can try the children's track if he wants to. Yeah. Okay. It's oh, a small okay. oval track. With a little smaller snowmobiles, yeah, okay, and the adults ones. So, every, so everyone that goes there can get involved and get that, get the yes. uh, the petrol fumes uh, all all around them as well. Yeah, definitely. And you you just don't have to see; you can actually try for yourself. Yeah, that's that's always exciting. Yeah. What what else is going and on? Then, uh, then we have uh, this Bayerngar, uh, which is from Seinäjoki. They sell cars. There is this rally car, and the audience is supposed to have a drive on a rally car on the ice. On the ice track. Okay. Yes. But it is. We have to look at the weather. <laughs> yeah, I understand. Yeah, you need if to the keep track, the track intact if the for the track racing. Melts on us, then it's not good. So. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that, there's that, and then they have lots, of, lots of these. They sell kind, kind of a luxury cars. Yes. So they are presenting, presenting them there. So there's well, some there's high-end cars for people to be yeah, able to exactly. look look at and, and get yes. inside. Yes. Okay. And then there's uh, Vasan Sport, which is a hockey league. They have uh, this goal there, and you can just try to hit the goal. Yes, okay. The puck to the goal. That's another <laughs> crowd pleaser for Finland. players from the team as well. Okay. There. You can actually meet them live. Yeah, yeah, okay. 
then there's uh, this uh, traffic school. They're presenting their their company there, and there are a couple other companies presenting them their uh, services there. Okay. So people can can get to know them. And these then are all they, kind uh, of car car themed companies car-themed, and services. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. And then we have a cafe. They have the, all kinds of cafe products, as well as beer and cider and long drinks. If you want to enjoy enjoy your cold bottle on the terrace while watching Legends on the track, so that's that's kind of nice. As long as you're not the one driving either to or from the event or getting on that yeah. snowmobile. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So get a driver. Yeah. Me. Yeah. I, I get the feeling I might be the driver. On uh, Saturday, no, but that's I'm so sorry. no, that's okay. That's okay. I'm and looking then, forward then we to have the a soup as a lunch. Yeah, outside, and uh, then sausage cheese, traditional rally sausage cheese, as we call them. The yeah. Finnish makka. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So yeah, we have lots, lots going on there. So I hope everyone will enjoy themselves there and have something to look at or maybe even try for themselves. Well, I'm, I'm planning to come down there on Saturday. Um, yeah. And I, I, I guess that you're going to be quite busy. So whether we get to actually talk again on on the mic or not, I, I don't know. But I'll, I'll try and find you at least to say hi face to face. But yeah, I'm definitely going to yeah. get down there and, and take some pictures and um, and get those on the on the website and maybe maybe one or two uh, one or two little videos as well. That could be uh, that could be good. So Christina, thanks. You've got me really interested now. I'm look, really looking forward to being there on Saturday. Hopefully, well, I know you're going to be busy, but hopefully we'll get to spend a, a few minutes just to say to say hi. Um, thank you for taking your time to uh, speak to me today. And uh, good luck with Saturday. Fingers crossed for the weather as well. And uh, thanks for your time. Thank you very much. It was fun talking to you, and I hope you enjoy the event. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure we will. See you on Saturday. See you on Saturday. Bye bye. Bye. It's now race day. Just arrived in the car park. Open the door. There's a smell of petrol fumes. Uh, Christina spoke the other day about the snowmobile track and there were snowmobiles whizzing through the air about 10 meters or so away from the car and it it really got me into the into the mood Uh, i've now just taken a stroll about a kilometer from the car which is basically parked on the on part of the botnia ring track uh, and walked down to the end where the uh, ice race is taking place it's a as Christina explained, an oval oval track here. Uh, we're all pretty much located at the uh, at track level. Uh, people standing on on piles of snow and any, anything to get a, a slightly better vantage uh, of the of the race. And uh, I'm I'm going to do something very similar and try and get a, a few pictures and, uh, and maybe some video to uh, to accompany the the show notes. Um, it's cold as well. Who would have realised that at an ice race in the middle of Finland in the middle of February that it would be cold? But the wind is uh, is clearly coming from the north, whistling, whistling through my ears, uh, and uh, hopefully not whistling through the mic too much. So uh, I'm going to uh, going to watch a bit of the racing and then come back and uh, and talk a little bit more about it later. And the first race that's uh, on since I've arrived is just starting. I can hear the cars coming in a distance. I think I'm standing somewhere down the end of the home straight, so uh, here they come. And there they go. I don't know how many how many times you need me to uh, uh, to record that. So maybe once is uh, once is enough. But uh, it, it, I'm here in case anyone thinks I'm faking. That's the end of my trip to the Botnia Ring today for the uh, APR ice race. It's been an interesting event. I've seen some racing. I've seen people riding around on jet skis. Uh, there's been demonstrations on the track with rally cars going around at. at 
all kinds of uh, all kinds of speeds, uh, showing what they can what they can do. There's been f- uh, traditional trackside food, uh, Finnish soup, and uh, of course makara, which we uh, which we find at most most events over here now nowadays. And um, I'd just like to say well done to uh, to Christina for being part of organising this event. I hope it I hope it went as well as uh, as she was planning. It's certainly been busy here. Uh, and as people start to uh, to head away, I'm going to jump in my car. It looks like to make our way out of here, we have to drive around part of the Botnia Ring track. Uh, you can see a, a procession of uh, of regular cars that seem to be weaving their way around towards the exit. So I'm going to uh, get involved in that. Thank you to Christina for inviting me down here today to uh, to check out the event. And uh, thanks to everyone else for listening to the Explore Finland radio show. Remember to rate, review and subscribe to the show on iTunes or Stitcher Radio or wherever it is that you're listening. Remember to share with your friends, invite them to come and join us as we uh, explore Finland. Uh, find me on all the regular social media, Facebook, Twitter... Google Plus and Instagram. You'll certainly see a few pictures and maybe even a, a video or two from today's event on Instagram. Uh, so come over there and, and check it out, and uh, I'll see you again on the next episode of the Explore Finland radio show. Thanks a lot. Bye. <laughs>